Good afternoon, my friends. It is, give me one sec. There you go. It is an awesome day. It's Friday. Before we start everything else, we have another video. And it's a question that a lot of people ask because even though we just passed Black Friday and Cyber Monday, a lot of the good webcams that have good lighting, good lenses like the Logitech Brio 4K still sometimes not available. And after looking into a lot of different ways on how to add cameras, so if you have seen me for a long time, we can bring different cameras, could be a 4K DSLR, could be an old camera that can bring you in but each one of us have a mobile phone, one of these, and they have really good cameras. So one of the questions that a lot of people ask is how can I bring that into my computer and use them? And about, I think that about two months ago, I realized that one of the apps that I tried a long time ago was purchased by Elgato and they are now adding new features that allow you to have a better quality experience for the camera. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna show you how you can actually bring your iPhone. I have to check again if they still have the app for the Android, but on this video, what I'm gonna be going is how to use your iPhone for Zoom, for OBS, or for StreamYard. And you're going to see that this allow you to bring everything in. So while we go through all this, it is a pleasure. So let me know where you're watching from. A couple of people ask the counter that I was using. That is one of our creations that you can find it at merch.carlosvargas.com. And you can actually get it for your streams or for your events. And that's a customized counter that we built. But let me switch here so you can see. And the software that we're going to be using is called Epoch Cam. And Epoch Cam allow you to bring your phone, in this case your iPhone, as a camera source via three different ways. You can connect it via cable. You can connect it over Wi-Fi or for experience or software that have more capabilities, it also includes something called NDI. That is sending the signal over the network, but in a source that it doesn't need any other software. Meaning, if you have vMix, if you have Ecamm Live, if you have OBS, you can actually integrate that into your production or if you have a larger production an example if you have a church and you're using something like uh, proper center you can actually bring your signal into proper center with this software okay so first thing is that uh epocam you can download the app from the apple store and after you download the app all that you have to do is that you can use it in anything on your PC or on your Mac that can see a webcam. And I'm gonna show you how to bring it in. And after that, you have to download the drivers. Basic stuff, simple things. And after you have that done, all that I have recommended is that you have a tripod. And the reason for that is that you're gonna see that my camera should normally be standing around eyesight. I don't want a camera that is lower me because then people are gonna look at me from the bottom up. So they're gonna be looking at inside my nose. Or if I have a hat, they're gonna be looking here. If it's too high, like like this, then not gonna look good. You want it that will be around eyesight so you can actually use it without a problem. Okay? Then what I'm going to do is that let me switch here so you can see. And I have here Zoom. And after I have Zoom configured, all that I have to do is I pick my camera just like I will do with anything else. I go to the bottom. 
I pick Epoch Cam and I'm gonna take my phone and I'm gonna open it. You're gonna see? Now, you see why I mentioned about the tripod? Because then it will not look good that while you're in a meeting, it's going down. Okay? So, what we're gonna do is that we're going to put it on the tripod. So I'm gonna go through a whole process and explain you everything. So by default, the app, when you open it, so as you're looking at me, it's like a little bit like an inception. I am here and I am here. I am here and I am here. See? Okay, so here's the first thing. The app has the option to mirror your image. So that means if you're reading, you see, that there's some words in here you see is backwards that doesn't look good so when you're interacting with someone if i'm looking at someone i want the person to be able to read hey i have a, a logo for a reason i have something for a reason so there's a mirror option Whoop. and now the image got corrected and then i can also bring audio from the app and it allow you to then have then your signal. And as you can see, I'm gonna look specifically now to the Epocam. I can come here and you can see my, my mouth that I am speaking without a problem. I'm, I'm interacting and I have no issue, no delay. Zoom has a limitation that is that Zoom only allow you to use a camera up to 720p. But one of the cool things is that as you can see, this give me a clear image so I can use it for something else. I don't have no lights on specifically. So no stage lights, no nothing. I have a fan. That's all that I have on. And I did it purposely. So you can see that your phone has a capability to get you a clear image without a problem. Okay. So that is how simple you can just by enabling Epoch cam, it gives you the option to bring it in. So let me stop this for a moment. And I'm going to go now to OBS. Okay. So if you know, this will be the same thing if you have Ecamm or if you have something else, but here I'm on a PC, so I cannot use Ecamm. So I have to use OBS or VMix, whatever is the exact same thing. So I have a new scene and I'm going to go into add video capture device and you can put whatever name you want and it's gonna open the option and in here I select epoch cam and by default it's gonna go into the lowest resolution so that's sending a signal and communicating between the driver on the computer and the app you see it look really squarish look small but all that you have to do you change your resolution custom and you switch it to high resolution and right now I have a full HD quality image that I can connect with it I can talk I can now add my microphones and a cool thing that the app also includes is that if you don't have a microphone you can add the built-in mic from the phone so I go add input capture and then, uh, let's see where it is here. Microphone, Tonini Audio. And now I have another audio input that I can use for capturing everything that I'm doing from my phone, nothing else. So now I can go streaming, I can record my course, I can do everything that I need to do directly from there. If I'm doing a production, like I said, at a church, then there's another device that you can add over the wireless network um, because it allows you to do it over the wireless network. You can pick a lower resolution, like a 720, or if you have a good high-speed network on your wireless, you can do high speed and you can bring the signal in there, okay? So we did first on Zoom, we did it on OBS, 
But the other question that a lot of times I get asked is, okay, so that works on your computer. What about if I'm doing something on the cloud? Like StreamYard, BeLive, uh, any of the other softwares. So let's say bye-bye to this guy. And let me bring StreamYard. So in here, I'm gonna enter the broadcast studio. And all that I have to do is that I go into the configuration and I select my epoch camera and I go to show advanced and I select 720 or if you have the full HD version. But one of the things that I have found is that a lot of people want to stream full HD and they don't read the instructions. Each program have instructions. And one of the things is that if you're going to do something and you connect it over a wireless network, you should not be doing full HD. All the instructions tell you because you don't have a consistent stream. So it's better to have a clear signal at 720 than a spotty signal at 1080p. So go 720 so you can get a better signal unless that you're hardwired or have a very strong network. And you can see some of the other videos that I have talk about your bandwidth and how much you need to actually have a good speed network. But then let me uh, go here. Okay. I'm going to get in and I'm going to bring now and you can see that now I am connected on StreamYard and I can just go live directly on StreamYard and I am talking here without a problem. You see, I am moving my hands. Do you see I'm moving, I'm moving across everything. So it's, very natural and very easy and you get now a better quality and i started to look for an alternative because uh probably no i have a setup here for doing live streaming but my laptop or if i have a mac they don't have a really good camera they only have a supposedly 720p camera but the quality of the camera is not that good i don't know why for so long some pcs have a good one like the the msi that my wife is using actually have an awesome camera but the mac doesn't so i was looking for a solution and i said okay this is an option and i think that the price is like three dollars or four dollars for epoch cam i don't know if it when i bought it again i don't know if they change it now but it, it's worth it to just have the opportunity that you can do it on any computer doesn't matter what you need all that you need is your cable you want to make sure that you power it while you're streaming even if you are full charge let me switch here the camera you want to be plugged in when you stream your camera your computer everything you want to be plugged in because what happened is that your computer will start using more resources, more CPU. You're going to use the network. And sometimes I have seen it that the battery get drained while you do a session. And it is that you're encoding, you're doing a lot of processes. So make sure that everything that you use while you stream is plugged in. That's the best recommendation that I can give you. Okay. And when you stream, Make sure that you smile because everyone that is looking at you want to connect with you. Okay, my friends. So it's been awesome to see you. If you have another questions, make sure that you drop them on the chat at the beginning. So um, they were asking me about the software that we use. We use Vimix for on the PC or Ecamm on the, the Macs for doing all our streamings, all our recordings everything that we do. And the reason is that it gives us a lot of capabilities. Like I just did, I switched from here to here. I am recording as I am streaming and I'm exporting it somewhere else so it can work at the same time. And it has a lot of additional capabilities. So that's the reason. And the counter was one of our creations. So you can find it at merch.carlosvargas.com. So my friends, I hope and I know that this being helpful for you, as always, if you have any questions, make sure that you drop us a comment, subscribe to our channels, and we'll see you on our next episode.